Hey everybody, I'm back officially now because uh, the reason I've been making videos or making anyone intros, which I really need to do now, um, reason being is for school. I was failing one or two class, no one, because I had to be on the other one. But yeah, I was failing, and then I tried to pull up my late work, and my teacher never liked me. I guess he never liked me. And he basically told me, okay, you're paying attention, you're getting your grades now, you're focusing on your grades now. He told me that I don't need to worry about late work right now. All I need to do is do the work right now. And finals are in like two weeks, two, three weeks tops. And then summer, and I'll make a buttload of tutorials. But for now, just making this one, quick action. I was going to make it yesterday, but I went to a party, and today is Mother's Day, and I got to really hurry up. So, yeah, enough with the chit-chat. Today I'm going to show you how to embed an image into a text. Embed basically means transform or to overlay, something like that. That's what we're going to be doing. So, I'm just going to get this picture really fast. So, I'm going to go to File, New. I'm going to make it 720p. So, got an image right here, Don't click on the padlock, okay. Uh, yes, I got Photoshop CS5 now, so I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna put a text in, I want it to be block. And I got this really cool font, so I'm gonna type in Chicago, I think I spelled it right, yes I did. So I'm gonna drag it kind of like to the middle. So I got that there. So I'm going to import the picture I got of Chicago, where I currently live. So just drag borders, border to border. Yeah, that's good. So let me see. I'm going to got that like that. So that didn't make any sense, but I'm sorry. I haven't been a tutorial a long time, so I'm kind of not used to it right now. So I'm just going to drag the text up to see where I'm going to put it. Uh, there you go. That's a good place right there. Because I'm going to change the opacity really fast just to see. Now this is what basically we're going to see in the photo. We're going to see the lights, the skyscrapers, the triangle diamond thing on it. I've been living here since forever and I don't even know what it is. So yeah, we got the gleaming of the water. We got half of a building and we got some of the Sears Tower which is, I don't even know why what it's called now leave a comment if you know what the Sears Tower is called now so yeah if you wait I'll do something about this if you answer the, the new question I'm gonna do questions of the day now no this is the question of the day what is the new name of the Sears Tower if you get it correct I will give you a shout out in one of my videos <coughs> And I'm just letting my subscribers go on and go on. So, yeah. That's the question today. The question will all be will, bleh, will be in the description as well, on the bottom. Which is really horrible now. But yeah. I'm, to go with the tutorial now. Let's uh, drag the photo on top of the text. It'll be like that, overlapping. And let's click on that and go to image, I believe it is. No. Well, whatever. We're going <laughs> to right click and click go to create clipping mask it's gonna look like this ta-da perfect so, so let's just add a couple effects to this so I'm gonna add a drop shadow put that on a good 100 an inner shadow yeah we'll get an outer glow an inner glow and we'll put that to 39 so I got it that's basically it and you can add a cool little colors and add a kind of a blue color whoops add it to it Oops, there you go okay now just add it there and there you go that's how you do it that's how you embed an image into a text now Observe, you can add, put this as a logo for anything you want. Uh, you can put this for your blog, your website, signature banner, stuff like that. 
but you can put any picture, any text of your choice. So it looks really nice. I kind of stun myself when I just look at this right now. Looks really good. As you can tell, I put a little bit more detail into the lights. So let me just zoom into this. So observe there's a little bit more detail into this, which I try to put in, which I did, and I was successful. So I got the gleam of the water, gleam of the lights. So yeah, it looks really, really awesome. So fit on the screen. Make sure it's this. Oh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> so yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Expect more tutorials coming in right now. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And come to question of the day. What is the name of the Sears Tower currently? So yeah. Get that right. First person to get that right gets a shout out. Thanks guys. Peace. <laughs>